Uh, today we're going to do an unplugged version of Comment Cocktail, so we're going to explore drink that somebody in our live stream suggested. Um, so, well, that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. Yeah, drink it. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. Dan and Derek going to make a cocktail. This is on the fly from somebody yes. in our chat room. It's called, what would the same remember what it's called? Smoky it's Ginger. It's called Smoky Ginger. Smoky Ginger. Okay, the recipe is missing. Oh, one wait. One ounce of mezcal. There it is. It's one, one ounce of mezcal. Two All right. Two ounces of ginger liqueur. Two ounces of ginger liqueur. One ounce of tequila. An ounce of tequila. Half ounce of lime. And a half ounce of lime. Damn, everyone's going so fast. I got oh, this. It's right on the screen. I can. What do you need? I got it. I got it. One ounce, one ounce, a couple ounces. <laughs> so this drink has mezcal and tequila. I've seen that a couple times. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's so like we're people using who intense. aren't completely sure if they want to go the mezcal route. But two ounces of ginger liqueur. Yeah, so yeah. that's a lot of ginger liqueur. Lot of ginger yeah, liqueur. but there's a lot of sugar in ginger liqueur. It's not going to be nearly as gingery as like you think it's going to be. No, it's not going to be gingery. Um, and then just a half ounce of lime? Yep. It's going to be so Hey, it's cool. Hey. Oh, you just Remember that is. on it. Why Remember that one. Stuff, My gosh. Remember that one. I'll wash it. Just wash it. This is like, you know like back in the day when they had MTV Unplugged? That's what we do. That's what we're doing. You get a fresh and we make it. Yeah, this is like the acoustic <laughs> after <Saturday>. party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we figure why not make it a show. I mean, Dan, shake it. I can shake it. Uh, I'll see if I can find some oh, color. No, no, no. Oh, we can shake. I can shake it. <laughs> yes, yeah, the drink. Oh, I can, and I would show you. But I'm, I'm not stir this drink. You want me to Are make you a stir drink? <laughs> I'll tell you when these are insulated. My hands don't look at my hands cold. <laughs> See? Do we have ice for this? I'm getting it. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, we're gonna need more ice, though. I got. I, we can. We can solve that problem. Do you want to write this down somewhere? I just did. Oh, you did? Okay. No, it's in my head. I'll just read it off. I said it. So oh, I'll build a recipe card okay. based on what I said. I think. Man, Maybe. it's the best. Well, that was nice. <laughs> like what you're doing there, I'm going to make sure to get a close-up of yeah, you like pouring that. right over the ice and scooping it right out. So it looks like a daiquiri. It does. Or, or margarita. Well, I mean, it's tequila margarita. and... You want to try it first if you build no, it? No, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to tell you if you suck or not. Oh, he knows it sucks. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Really? Is it good? I, I didn't expect that much out of the Oaxacan, uh, the smokiness out of the Oaxacan rum. Like, so, or Oaxacan rum, the Oaxacan mezcal. Like, Durango is smokier. So, this is mezcal. I have a video on mezcal, mm. types of mezcal. This is, they're both like 60 to $70 a piece. That's just mezcal. If you want a good mezcal, no, it's going to cost you. More. Durango. Not as much ginger as I thought it would come I'm across. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's ginger liqueur. The ginger liqueur, I don't no. care if it's if it's Canton or however you say Is it Canton or Canton or Canton? Domaine de Caton. Domaine mm. de Caton. Um, or this is Barrows Intense. I think it's made in New England, right? Or Brooklyn. Close to New England. Um, ginger. Yeah, Brooklyn's totally close to It's New good. Place. Ginger it liqueur I mean, doesn't have the ginger but ginger beer. I like the ginger beer flavor. A little bit more because I like the the zingy bite. Yeah, there's no bite bite to it. Yeah, and that's I, what I thought there was gonna be. It's it's pretty subtle. I don't understand. It's pretty good drink. You yeah. know what? I actually I think you could use a smoky mezcal. Yeah, the like Durango or uh, yeah. Does it need soda water? Does it need? It probably could use soda water. Oh, it definitely needs soda water. <laughs> It tastes like it's smoky at first, but it doesn't actually bring that intense smokiness that you'd expect. I think if you use a smokier... I, I, you still get the, smoke. Yeah. You do. I think you could use a smokier. That's this one. Um, or something else. And I was just surprised that the ginger didn't come out as... No, it's not ginger. Yeah. No, it's, it, the ginger in this lends itself to a floral flavor. Like a, It almost has like a, like a... I don't know, like flowers. It tastes, it tastes like a good mezcal margarita. Yeah. yeah, it's a good drink. Yeah. It's a good transitionary stance if you're a tequila drinker and you're afraid that mezcal is crazy. Yeah. I hope, hopefully Don't people who have been watching the well, show what you have, have understood that yeah. mezcal is no real different from tequila except for that smokiness. Like, it has all the same properties. It it's depends. got some great Sometimes flavors. It's, mezcal isn't even smoky. It's smoky right. here. Like, you go to Mexico and you order mezcal, it's not smoky. No. No. And it drives me nuts. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it, and I and I blame where we go in Mexico. yeah I blame it on if you're if you're going to Mexico in an area that's for tourists yeah and it's like they know the United States people are coming 
Right? They're like, oh, you don't really want mezcal. What you want is like tequila. Yeah, but we, even in the, um, in the duty-free shops. The duty-free shops at the airport. I like, know. you need to go to, like, but Oaxaca. When we you went to the, go, when we were I in, would if I wouldn't when die. We, yeah. <laughs> if I wasn't going to We were in that like, area. And, and they basically, Monte Lobos oh, yeah, yeah. was like a big one there. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, Monte Lobos is a big one here. That's the problem. But Monte like, Lobos is good. No, but here's yeah, what Yeah, like I the want. resort we stayed at, that we had mezcal. They left mezcal in our room That's every awesome. day. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't do that for us. Like, Cancun, you don't get that. You just get like... Yeah, but it's on the total opposite side of... Right? Yeah, it's on the other side. No, but like, the... this is what I want. I want to like, go to Mexico and go on this tour with some crazy tour guy that brings you to like some dude, no, old idea. guy... They, that's like 110 years old. You don't even know how he's alive. And he's like, he's let me show shit. you. Yeah. 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 Let That'd me awesome. show you that what we drink awesome. here in in Mexico. And then he goes and brings like this fucking crazy. And you drink it and you're like, that fucking mezcal. And you, you wish you could get that at home and you never could. That's all I want. But all you get is the same shit you get here. Yeah. Jose Cuervo, fucking especial. Like, how can you... That's what they serve at some of the Cancun resorts. I'm like, how are you serving you Jose Cuervo? You have to ask him for a real tequila. And they're yeah. like, what do you mean real tequila? This is real tequila. And you're like, I don't need to have this conversation with you. You're going to be rotated over to cleaning <laughs> floors tomorrow. Like, everybody does different jobs. They're just bartending. They're not doing it for a craft. Yeah, but some people are better than others. Definitely. Like, we've had people come from other right. parts of the resort to go to the bartender. When you're sitting oh, yeah. on a stool in a in the water at a bar and yeah. some chick jumps out of a bush <laughs> and lands in the water and scares the shit out of you, you know, I'm like, whoa! She's like, sorry about that. I'm like, hi! She's like, yeah, this is the best bartender of the place, so I just <laughs> wanted to come here. But you're gonna come around instead of jumping through the fucking forest. Good it, drink. Uh, by smoking it. Yeah, they actually smoke the the mezcal. The, the, they take the pinas, agave. they take yeah. all the agave, they put them into the ground. Uh, very similar to what you do in Hawaii with pork. Yeah, with right. Pork. You bury it for I think twenty four hours. I'm not a mezcal pro. I just <laughs> drink it, and you smoke the shit I, out of it. Am I married? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that should tell you that he's not the guy you want to fuck with. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to get COVID from you, but herpes is high on the list. <laughs> uh, so you smoke the agave, and then you then you extract the sugars, and you make the, the spirit, and it tastes like this. So you guys got to go to the other side where we went. That's all mezcal. Yeah, but... But it's the same thing. It's still resorts, and you got to tell them what to pick. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. far. <laughs> oh, that's true. It is It is technically further to go to that side versus the other side. Because it's like one hour time zone difference, and... It's only like a five you go hour anywhere. Hour. Freaking COVID ruined it. I know. Yeah, we I were know. supposed to be in Dominican last week or two. Leave your wife. <laughs> Again, you gotta, it depends on what you look like. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> I yeah. do like Italy. I was there last summer. Yeah. <laughs> With his wife. Do you still like it? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. You'll definitely get COVID. Uh, if you, if you, uh, it, for Coco, if you it, search for. Th- uh, long line iced tea variations. You find a common Mac cocktails video that goes through <laughs> three of them. Wife. You'll see his wife. Because me and her made a couple cocktails. Tequila to mezcal, like Highland to Islay? I don't know. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Like, the Isla whiskey mm-hmm. no. is like, it's like, um, it's, it's like difference. you get kicked in the face with yeah. coals from a fire. Right? No, Isla whiskey is horrible. It's like super smoky and like, like weird. God likes that though. Yeah. There are people. I like, like some that. of it. <clears throat> and, I like like our bag and stuff, but like, oh. yeah, that's pretty smoky. It's good, but it's not like the, yeah. I can't. Oh, I can't drink yeah. that. Yeah. Lafroy is. It's the thing is with Lafroy, the smokiness stays in you for like a week. Like it's just it's it feels you know like when you go to a fire and then you leave and you you smell your shirt and you have that like smoky smell. That is Isla Scotch. This is more like smoked pork. Like. It's, yeah. it's got that yeah. mesquite, that smokiness, yeah. and then after you're finished with it, it goes away. Mm. It, it lingers for a bit, but not nearly not, like that. Not like I no, like No, that's, that's just that's crazy. But if you don't like smoke at all, then mezcal is just not your thing. Like, yeah. it's not Ian's thing. Ian does not care for it. It's mezcal. just like almost needs yeah. something. Yeah, more mezcal. No? Really? I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Maybe a little bit of bite. Like a sour or, or a bitter? I think I need some salsa. <laughs> <laughs> Bite. So put a bitter in there. Yeah. Throw some bitters in there. Bitter bites. Mm. Bitter, not you gotta not go. Though. 
No, uh, for that, you would probably go, I wouldn't know, cardamom might no, be a little intense. Too flowery. Yeah. Orleans, the black licorice. No. No black licorice. We're, already, we're gonna do that in a few Ruben. seconds. Okay, you want a fire water? Whoever, whoever oh, wants us. you need, uh, no, fire water's no. No, fire water's no. Coco's gotta go. We'll see you later. Bye, Coco. Right. Oh, yeah, it is in Italy. That's pretty late. Oh, yeah, no, the other one. Trinity? The, the cacao? No, this is Trinity. Yeah, the other one. This one. Yeah, Corazon. Actually, yeah. Have a good crazy. night. This, this, this. Ready? What's that? Corazon. Stir that shit up. Give it some color. Give it some depth, character. Cacao nibs. Some spiciness. A little black pepper. Maybe hot pepper. Is it hot pepper? Yep, hot pepper. Hot pepper. Coffee. Oh, it's not too bad. Boom! Mm. Too conflicting. Corazon bitters. Only at AustinBase.com. Just saying. Smells good. Aston mm. comes up next. I got it all ready to go. I'm oh. just chilling. It's not bad. It's a no, little it's like bad, you said. Like it's, it's a little conflicting. Yeah. yeah How can but it your be... brain doesn't really know. Like it's like, is it conflicting? Yeah. Like, it's, it doesn't it's, know what it's, to really do. It, it gives your brain an exercise. Yeah. It does. I don't know if I would have went with those. It sounded good, but. <laughs> I, I just try. I try. You don't know until you try. It's not it's, bad. It's, you know, it is. I think it's just like the expectation of what that ginger liqueur is going to look, ginger, yeah. look like. You yeah, want more spicy. Tastes like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's Ooh, see what this thing does. Wait, you gotta, you're doing an episode. Yeah, I know. Uh, no. That's it. Sidebar, more videos down below. Awesome Drake's Bartender Starter Kit. That's it. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink.